Out of my way!
the chance! <gasps> win battle.
I'm not from this world. However, I've been sent to investigate this world. I have teleported across time and space. My consciousness continued even after I took on the physical form, and remains to this day. My whole world and this world, for some reason, the two worlds seem to be linked on the same axis across space and time. Our world was becoming extremely unstable. Reports have begun to circulate that it would collapse. We believe this to be caused by interference from another world. This world, that was on the same axis as ours. Our pure and tarnished world was being warped and distorted by some unknown force, not unlike a virus distorting a living being. Over the course of time, we realized that this virus could well be a soul or spirit. The interference from that other world was from the souls of its inhabitants. They were producing some form of energy that was distorting our world. Why did it have such an influence? To understand the cause of this phenomenon, to study this interference, we established a quantum teleporter, a means to send our consciousness to this other world. And so we came to investigate. Including myself, there are five investigators. The others are Kai Ardenar, Zev Balmar, Ming Namara, and Sarah Sisulat. We arrived here without memories of our home world, and now live among the native inhabitants of this world while we carry out our mission. A thousand years was chosen as a time frame sufficient to develop a deep understanding of this world's inhabitants. The way we arrived, with our memories locked away, has allowed us to become like the people we now live among. However, I awoke to the memory of this mission some days ago. I am leaving this recording so that this world may know that I existed. Given that time flows differently on the two worlds, we shall appear to neither age nor die on this world. The thousand years of our investigation is equivalent to the passing of only a single year on our whole world. With the difference in the flow of time, we live much longer lives than those around us. By immersing ourselves in the history, culture, thoughts, and habits of this world, we succeeded in gathering detailed data. We will transmit our experiences to our home world in the hopes that it will give us the means of saving it. An unexpected result of our mission is that the Tower of Mirrors is causing a variety of odd changes in the natural order of this world. Wild animals run amok, and there are many sightings of monstrous creatures. The natural magic energy of this world has changed. This may in fact be a blessing. Magic energy has dramatically improved the lives of these people. When our consciousness was reconstituted within our new bodies, there was a resonance with the magic energy. The possibility that our existence has imparted even greater strength to this world's magic energy is very likely. We have seen much in our thousand years here, which brings us to the true nature of the virus. The lives and history of the people here are extremely ordinary, and we have seen many dynasties rise to power and fall again into oblivion. As if, and yet the existence of the virus on our world shows that the events of this world had a tremendous impact, making a history that will never be recorded in any book here. Their feelings that dominate the minds of the people of this world, their hopes and desires, their love and their hatred, their very lives and deaths, the events that bring fear or happiness to their every moment, all of these resulted in massive waves of something that interfered with our whole world. The hearts and minds of the people is what moves this world. At certain times, this was evident by the feelings of affection toward others. At other times, it was shown by the unrestrained drive to satisfy a great ambition. In the time we have lived among the people of this world, we have realized that these feelings, previously unknown to us, profoundly affect them. And the effects of these feelings are causing the massive energy waves that are affecting our home world. From our standpoint, these feelings are simply a virus. But in the course of a thousand years, we have found them to be a very seductive virus. While here in this world, I have been infected by the virus of feeling and have consequently attained powerful magic energy. To abandon this would be grievous and painful. To even think this way shows how deeply the virus has infected me. But the virus's seduction has been quite satisfying. And it still is.